praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless God. Praise him. Praise Thank him. Thank you, Father. The one worthy to be yes, praised. Yes, he is. He's yes. worthy to be praised. Amen. Well, we're so delighted to be back with you once more again here at the Wednesday night Bible uh, teachings. Amen. Wednesday evening Bible teaching. And we just uh Thank and appreciate God for God giving us this platform to be able to uh, minister to you the word of God, to teach you the word of God, and to see your life being transformed into the image and likeness of his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, we'd uh, very much uh, appreciate if you would hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the comments, the share, and the like, and continue to do that as you're doing uh, thus far. Uh, so we just we want to let you know we, we value that, and uh, it, we don't take it lightly. So uh, continue to do what you're doing. Amen, because you're helping us to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right, well, we're going to get ready to get into our uh, teaching uh, this evening. Amen. My lovely wife is going to pray, and then we're going to continue on. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege to thank be you, in your house. We yes. come with great expectation. Great expectation. Great expectation to receive from your word of power. Yes. To be taught by your spirit of yes. truth. Yes. Hallelujah. And to be equipped. Yes. To be to equipped. Be equipped. To be yes. taught how yes. to apply your word of truth to every yes, area Father of our Hallelujah. lives, Father God. Our desire is for you to be glorified and magnified yes. in us and through us by the power of your word. And we yes. yield to yes, it. Yes, we do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we know you yield to the power of God's word in your life also. Amen. All right. Well, let's get ready. We're going to get into uh, this evening's uh, teaching. Amen. We'll still continue the teaching about, uh, you know, we're looking at... Uh, um, uh, the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, uh, and we're kind of working from that, but we're pulling out a word that we found in that first verse that, um, that's very important and I think that needs to be uh, uh, taught uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, uh, and it's not an ancient, uh, obsolete word. Uh, it's something that needs to be embraced and a reality needs to, to uh, uh, be rooted and grounded and established in the church. And we're talking about what it says Paul talks about the saints, the saints in Ephesians, the first chapter and that first verse, he's acknowledging and talking about the saints. Uh, now, what we want to do, we still want to look at the, the word, the key thoughts we want to pull from that is that word saints. And these are some things that we're going to look at about, uh, about uh, the biblical understanding of what saints mean. Amen. All right. Sue, don't you want to read that? Amen. Key thought. Mm -hmm. Saints refers to born again believers. All believers are holy. Mm -hmm. That is, set apart or sanctified for God's purpose. Mm -hmm. Saints mm -hmm. refers to born again believers. Born again believers. All believers are mm -hmm. holy. That is, mm -hmm. set apart yes. or sanctified for God's purpose. For God's purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And that's what that's what I believe, Sudan, that we have to go back to and get a, a get a good biblical foundation of what it really means to be a saint. Uh, it's not some uh, outdated word or outdated uh, uh, group of people or uh, God doesn't uh, use that word anymore, doesn't uh, uh, call us to be saints uh, because uh, God never changes. Uh, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God's word doesn't change. His, uh, his mindset doesn't change. His uh, uh, thoughts, his purpose, his plans, they never change. So his if, intent. If, yeah, his intent. Mm -hmm. So if he's calling, if he inspired Paul to write to the church of, of Ephesus mm -hmm. and specifically call them out as saints, yeah. uh, I believe that, that that's what he wants it to be throughout eternity, yeah. saints of the living God. Yes, and, so, and, and, and the, the uh, epistles are not just for... Uh, uh, the uh, churches in the New Testament, the epistles are for the church, the, the body of Christ. Christ so right. this letter applies to us. us. Right. Well. It does. Yes. It does. Yeah. And that's what we, you know, we can't, we, we have to be willing to not allow new age thinking and philosophies and ideas to come in and mix and mingle in the church. Uh, we don't need new age thinking, new age ideas. All we need to all we need to do is stay committed to the progressive word of God. Yes, in other words, yes. God's uh, enlightening our understanding, not yes. changing anything, but he's enlightening our understanding mm -hmm. to the reality of God's word. God's word is complete. It yes. doesn't need no add-ons. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't need a new age touch uh, 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 anything to it. it it's, it's, it's God's word all by itself. Yes, he's just given us, he's given us understanding 
and moving us to more understanding. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's good. That's sweet. That's yeah, it. Let's Give let's us understand. And, and moving, moving us to more understanding. understanding. Yes. Yeah, more of his understanding. So that we can properly apply his word that's to every it. area of our lives. That's it. All right. Saints are God's people who are faithful, loyal, and steadfast in Jesus Christ. Yes. And this is what saints are in the mind of God. Yes. That saints are God's people. Number one, yes. you're God's people. Yes. So we belong to him. We belong to him. Yes. We belong to him. He has ownership. He has ownership yes. over this. He calls us saint. Uh, and, you know, we, we're saints and we're uh, not ain'ts. Uh, in other words, uh, you know, some people act like they're saints, uh, but they ain't. Uh, and there are saints that are saints. And this is what God wants us to do. We are we're saints through and through with saints in our private life, with saints in our public life, and in our personal life, Amen. with saints. Amen. 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 And it's what we have to understand. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. We, it's don't a lifestyle. Put, we don't put it, put it off or, you know, uh, uh, and put it on. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it off. This is who we on. are. That's right. That's right, <laughs> babe. That's it. All right. Now we're going to look at, we're going to look at Romans, the, the 16th chapter. Now we're dealing with, we want to get this, this foundation laid so the church can get back to being a God's people. Yes. And being faithful and loyal, yes. steadfast in Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's look at Romans, the 16th I'm chapter. Oh, I apologize. We're going to Ephesians. I apologize. Uh, continue in the, the book of Ephesians uh, in this here about what Paul is encouraging the church of Ephesus about stand steadfast and being a, a, a saint of God. Ephesians, the fourth chapter and the 12th verse, reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Amen. Okay, I'll read it. And he did, and, and he did this, talking about Jesus, to fully equip and per perfect, and perfect, not pervert, but perfect the saints, Amen. the saints, God's people, yes. for works of service yes. to build up the body of Christ, the church. Amen. Amen. Yeah, this is, that's, that's, this is what saints are called to do. And th this is what every born again believer is they are saints of God and every born again believer has called to build up the body of Christ Amen. the church to build it up not to tear it down not to uh, uh, come when you feel like coming and participating in the service when you feel like when everything is going all right with you and, and you, you, you know you, uh, nobody's uh, 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 spoke a word of correction to you uh, uh, now I'm not talking about when people speak evil and, and do evil things towards you or hurt you or, or, or anything. I'm not talking about that. Those things may happen, but it shouldn't be named among the saints. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't bicker and argue and, 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 and we don't, they're in, in the body of Christ, we don't, there is no big eyes and little U's. Everybody working together as unified saints of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, he makes it really clear. He, he said, for works of service. Mm, come on, that's good. For works of service. So we're to serve each other. Each other. That's good. Sweetheart. We're to serve each other. Right. No, you know, it's not uh, only a certain set of people get served. served. Mm. We're to serve each, each other. other. Jesus even said of himself that he did not come to be served, served. He but he came to serve. serve. Yeah. And he's our perfect example. example. That's it. That's it. He's, he's our saint. <laughs> he's, the, he's the leader of our sainthood if you want to say yes uh, he's the example of us being saints yes. amen uh because uh he was called to do god's work he he was working up under the, the service of god yes. everything he did centered around god's will and purpose uh for uh, his life that he would lay down his life and be a servant for all of mankind mm -hmm. we amen. sent him here to, to be uh to be a to serve all mankind all mankind yes yeah he can god sent jesus christ to serve the sinner and the saints. That's right. Those those who would receive him and those that wouldn't. wouldn't receive him. Yeah. He he extended the opportunity. Yes. He made it available that whosoever will, yes. let them come yes. and join uh, the house of the Lord. Yes. Become saints. Become yes. sanctified. Become God's people. Set aside to do His will. And and, his and, and even when we think about that, that that shows us the righteousness of, of God. God. Yeah, that's good. The righteousness of God, mm. the love of God. Right, right. Because right. He already, He already knew. He already knows who's going to receive right, and right, who's not. Right. But He makes that, uh, He makes that 
uh, that 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 plea, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Right, right. To everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Without a respect of person, it don't it, it doesn't care about your your background, or, or your ethnicity, care, ethnicity, your social status. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, God presenting the opportunity to you to be uh, called as God's people Amen. and set aside for Him. Yes. Amen. 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 All right, let's look at Ephesians, the fifth chapter, and the third verse. You want to read that, sweetheart? Amen. The Word of God says, but sexual immorality mm -hmm. and all moral impurity, indecent, mm -hmm. offensive behavior, mm -hmm. or greed must not even be hinted at among you. Mm. That's strong right That's there. That's strong word. As is proper among saints. Mm-hmm. For as believers, our way of life, whether in public or in private, reflects the validity of our faith. Mm. Amen. So basically what he is letting us know is that whether we are in public or in private, private mm -hmm. our faith is being demonstrated. Right, right, right. We're to live our faith. Right, the validity of our faith. It's yeah. being it, it should be people should people should know. Come on, come on. People mm -hmm. should know what we believe That's and who right. we who we believe mm -hmm. in. That's good. It it shouldn't be any uh uh any uh wavering. Right, well I right. well I think they believe this and not no. <laughs> they should know. That's right. If we're That's solid, right. That's it. if That's we're good. solid mm -hmm. in our faith in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. it'll, it, it'll show. Show. It will. It it'll will. show. It'll, it'll show. be seen. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, and this is something that, you know, as a saint, we should, we should never get caught up in uh, sexual immorality. No. I, I, I know that. The desire for that should, if, if we've yielded to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. like, like, right. like, like we're called to do. To do then the desire for that is, is removed. Right, right. And, that, and what you said, that's, uh, that's all we have to understand is that if someone get caught in these b behaviors, need to come to the reality of it is that we, the reason why we got caught, trapped up in it is because we did not submit to the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. And, and, and then, okay, okay, so what, to, to never be caught in sexual immorality ever again, to never be in, have a, a to operate in a, in a spirit of impurity, being indecent and in offensive behavior, uh, greed, or uh, 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 any type of immoral, or improper behavior. Uh, what we have to do is just to not to get caught up in that. Is stay sensitive to the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. That's yes. all. It's, it's just. It's not. It doesn't take an Einstein. It just takes time meditating in the Word of God, getting God's answer for it, and then. Accepting it and living by God's amp, uh, example, uh, answer for our, our what we're challenged with. Amen. Amen. Because if we're sensitive to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. He will reveal to us when the challenges come. come. That's right. And He will empower us to resist, resist it, to yeah. walk away. Right. From That's it. it. If yeah. we're sensitive to right. Him, right. He's going to do His part. But we have to do our part. That's it. And he partners with us. That's good. He's not here to take control. Right, right, right. Right, right. He will not, no. Yeah. He partners with us. Yes, that's so good. So if our will is sensitive to him, mm -hmm. then he will assist us with that challenge. That challenge. He'll remove it. That's right. He will. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we want to encourage you to, to really uh, begin to start embracing the reality yes. that God called us to be saints of yes. God. And it's not no, it's not a... Uh, old fogey word or uh, just a church click word or uh, we don't do that anymore. Uh, you are saint, when, once you become born again, you are a saint forever. Hallelujah. You're, you've been called to be a saint forever. You've been called to live a sanctified, holy life dedicated to God's will, God's purpose yeah. for our life. That's what saints are. Yeah. And we need to get back to that. Yeah. That we are saints of the most High God. Hallelujah. Saints of the Most High God. That's a privilege. Yeah, it's a privilege. Glory. It's an honor. A high privilege. Yeah, a high privilege. Amen. Amen. So uh, don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, don't um, back down from sin. Well, uh, we, we, we do things different than now. You need to, you, 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 the only thing you want to do differently is don't, you no longer live in sin. Amen. You no longer uh, uh, commit uh, sexual, ungodly sexual behaviors and, and, uh, um, and, attitudes and, and, and your morals are, are righteous and pure. Amen. That's what you want to be able to say you do now. Amen. And you're totally yielded to the spirit of truth. Truth. That's it. Yes. Totally yielded to yes. it. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to get ready to uh, pray and then we're going to uh, just uh, believe God that uh, you're being edified and built up in your knowledge yes. of understanding that you are a saint of the most high God. Amen. 
Father, we thank you right now that in the name of Jesus, you've spoken your word to us, Father God. You've released it to us, Father God. And we believe in for uh, faith results to be manifested uh, in your word that you've uh, uh, revealed to us this evening. We thank you, Father God, that we're going to walk in boldness as saints of the Most High God. Father, Father God, we're going to be loyal and faithful to you and loyal and faithful to one another. We're going to support the, the edifying of the body of Christ, yes. the uplifting of every born-again believer, to walk in bold confidence that they are the saints of the Most High, yes. that they are the saints of the Most High. They're living according to your will and purpose for their yes. lives. Yes. So we thank you for it thank right now, you. Father God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Well, we want to encourage you to really uh, begin to uh, enjoy living a uh, uh, your saint life, your sanctified life in Christ. Amen. Begin to be in, enjoy. You, God calls you out of darkness. He calls you into his kingdom. So begin to enjoy and experience yes. that. Amen. Yes. So we'll see you next time here at Dominion Life Worship Center. And I want you to know that Jesus Christ is Lord of your life. And, and I want you to know that uh, we're expecting for you to come out and be a part of these live service. We we're looking forward to seeing you this coming Sunday morning. Don't allow the enemy to hinder you from not coming out and being a part of these services. Um, God has something special that he wants to impart in your life and to strengthen you and to encourage you. So come out, make that step of faith. God is expecting for you to get up and come out here to Dominion Life Worship Center and glean from these teachings. Be a part of these teachings, amen? amen. So you can be strengthened in your, uh, your, your uh, called out, sanctified life in Christ Jesus. And we will also be having a discipleship yes. uh, teaching at That's 2 right. o'clock. This coming Sunday. Yeah. This coming Sunday, yeah. March 17th. So we would love for you to come out and participate in that. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's designed to equip us mm -hmm. as disciples. Yes. To yes. equip us as yes. disciples. As disciples. Give us understanding of, of uh, what we've been called to do and to empower us to do it. So come out and be a part of that. It, it starts at uh, 2. We will have a light brunch that will start at uh, 1230. But yes. it starts at 2 and it... Uh, It'll uh, be from 2 uh, to 3, maybe 3.30, but... Uh, yeah, about, yeah, about 3 o'clock. About 3 o'clock or no later than 3.30. Right, so right. come out and be a part of that. Very much appreciate if you would do that. And we'd also go on our, line, go on our website, and you can find about, because we're having uh, sandwiches, uh, special made sandwiches and everything, but we need you to uh, uh, go on and let us know that you uh, desire to participate so we can make sure we got the adequate amount of food uh, to uh, take care of you and everything. Uh, so uh, we want to encourage you to do that, amen? Um, and you can, the information for it, you can find it on the website. I want to let you know we love you, we're praying for you, we believe in God's best to continue to be manifested in every area of your life, amen? amen. As we say here all the time at Dominion Life Worship Center, Jesus, Jesus is Lord, Lord. Amen. amen. Thank you for joining us and allowing the seed of the word of God to strengthen and encourage you. Our heart's desire is to equip you with the word of God so that you will successfully deal with every challenge that comes up against you in your life in Christ. We love you. And remember, Jesus is Lord. We look forward to seeing you next time here on Faith in Christ Network.